On today's Big Board, an eye-opening study about Instagram. Researchers at Harvard have found that it can help diagnose depression. Wow, the study found that it's not just about the kinds of photos you post, but also the colors and even a number of people in the photo. Clinical psychologist Dr. Elizabeth Lombardo is joining us now. And Dr. Lombardo, thank you for joining us, first of all. Secondly, just tell us about the findings in this, in this story. Yeah, so what they did was they looked at the accuracy of diagnosing depression and they compared general practitioners with using an algorithm they developed looking at Instagram photos. And they found that while general practitioners were able to correctly diagnose depression 42% of the time, using the artificial intelligence, they were actually 50% more accurate. Now we have to remember, these are general practitioners. They aren't psychologists or psychiatrists. Typically a general practitioner has a matter of minutes to be with a the patient. They aren't always focused on their mood. Right, and they might say, go see a specialist to follow up. But, but we want to put up some stock photos here to give people an idea of what we're talking about here. Because the study found that there are actually certain filters that suggest you're more or less likely to be depressed. Exactly. So first of all, people with who are healthier tend to use filters, and they tend to use, like we see here, the Valencia filter, which brings out the color. Now you contrast that with people with depression who tend not to use a filter. They don't really care as much about how they look. And if they did use a filter, it tended to be the inkwell, which would take the colors out. Hmm. Hmm, I'm wondering about myself right now because sometimes I don't use a filter. I just go with the black and white. I think it sometimes looks good. All right, Doc. But they also found there's a social aspect as well about the number of people in the photos. Exactly. So people who are depressed tended to have less number of faces in their photos. Now, when you think about depression, one of the cornerstone symptoms is social withdrawal. So this could be indicative that they aren't spending as much time with their friends and their family. Now, the, the results of the study are important just to remind us that depression can affect absolutely anyone. So we would just want to keep an eye on our family, our friends, even ourselves to see if, if any of these are happening in us. Makes All, right. Sense. All right, great advice, Doc. Thank you so much. We appreciate it, Dr. Lombardo. Okay. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.